Top 10 Creepy Things in WoW To start off this list, let's take a look at Gadotzon. Gadotzon is in the middle of a large desert filled with things trying to kill you. Right outside the front gate of Gadotzon are a couple of tracks from people who tried to head out into the desert. All in all, there are about four separate tracks, and if you follow any of them, they all end up the same way, with bones and the remains of whoever made the tracks. Now, as a strictly Horde player, this little gem was completely new to me, but is probably common knowledge among us Alliance players. Who knows, I don't really talk to 12 year olds that often. But in the barber shop on the second floor in Stormwind, there are bones of what look like two gnomes hidden under the floorboards. This creepy little easter egg is a reference to Sweeney Todd, a barber who would slit the throat of his customers and hide them through the trap door in his floor. Northeast of Duskwood, there is a little place called Beggar's Haunt. Behind the broken castle, there is an unmarked grave with two statues that look exactly like the ones from the Dark Portal, with a rare NPC called the Unknown Soldier kneeling before the grave. In Undercity, there is a blindfolded human NPC named Theresa that was tortured and lobotomized to become a personal mind slave for one of the undead priest trainers. In the haunted lake, there are the remains of a fisherman who was stabbed in the back with a sword. Inside the lake, there is a crashed plane with the remains of a small skeleton next to it, possibly belonging to either a goblin or a gnome. Thaddeus, the fourth and final boss of the Construct Quarter in Axaramis, was built from the flesh of women and children. You can hear the echoes of women and children used to make Thaddeus while Naxxaramas and during his boss fight. Once you kill him, he thanks you and the echoes stop. If you enter the house north of Goldshire at exactly 7.40am, you will see five children forming a pentagram. You can hear banshee screams, creepy music, and the Cthulhu sound file saying You will die. At the entrance to Undercity, there are three different hidden ghost sounds you can hear if you turn down your game's sounds and music and turn up your ambient noise to max. The first is the ringing of the broken bell at the entrance. Second, you can hear the sound of a cheering crowd as you enter the throne room. There are also rose petals on the floor. And lastly, you can hear the conversation Arthas had with his father right before he killed him, as well as see the blood on the floor from where his crown fell. The crypts next to Karazhan were supposed to be part of Karazhan, but was never actually implemented for some reason. While getting into the crypts nowadays is almost impossible, what is inside the crypts is a lot of creepy shit. Now, the number one thing on this list is probably not the creepiest thing out of all the other stuff I listed, but I found it quite disturbing. In the Hillsbred foothills, there is a place called the Sludge Fields. The Sludge Fields used to be a farm that was overtaken by the undead during the Cataclysm. In a small section of the fields, there is a literal field of humans buried neck deep with gulls jumping around bashing their heads in. The details of what happened there are laid out by the Journal of Clerk Horace Whitesteed, a prisoner of war held at the camp. Day 20 the Hillsbrad fields are no more. Those that did not flee were captured. The Forsaken have declared us as prisoners of war. We are to be laborers at their new plantation. Day 25. They incinerated our farms and made us watch. Construction begins tomorrow. Day 40. Construction of the plantations is nearly complete. This place resembles no farm or plantation I've ever seen. Day 45. We've started laboring in the sludge fields. They grow poisonous mushrooms in fetid water and muck. Day 50. I hear screams coming from the Warden's Manor. People are starting to disappear. Day 52. I overheard that some guards talking about the farmers, Ray Getz and Kalaba. Something terrible has happened to them. Of this, I'm certain. Day 60. Those of us that remain are scared for our lives. Some of the farmers claim to have seen goals running among at night. Day 61. A strange turn of events today. A master apothecary came from Torn Mill. From what little information I've been able to gather, he is here to supervise the operations. Lydon is his name. Day 62. Master Apothecary Lydon was dragged away by Stillwater's guards. He was yelling and screaming that the Dark Lady would have Stillwater's head for this. What is he talking about, I wonder? Day 63. I saw them taking away Burnside and Vertigan last night. I can only assume that I'm next. In addition to the human seeds, there are also hanging corpses of the same model as the ones used in the Karazhan Crypt. 
There's also a quest associated with the Seed People called Do the Right Thing. We have come upon a horrific scene. Someone or something has buried all the humans up to their necks in a manner consistent with planting. The ghouls, which are seemingly tending the fields of human seedlings, periodically jump to the nearest human and devour its head. You can end this right here and now. Take this shovel and save the humans. Do the right thing. Emphasis on the saved part. For this quest, you can actually choose whether or not to bash their heads in or remove the trap humans from the dirt. For added efficiency, you can save the humans and then immediately bash their heads in too to get two credits for saving the human and finish up the quest that much faster.